Hi, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and today we'll be doing um, a video review of the HD Air, which uh, thankfully we were surprised, supplied by Alton. Um, it's the new product, which we will also be seeing more demos uh, at CES that basically um, wirelessly um, connects your, um, your laptop or your PC to a TV. And in this case, what I'm going to do with this review, uh, it says it's up to 30 feet. So this review will be mainly geared on um, uh, testing the distance uh, uh, functionality of, uh, of the HD Air. Um, I'm sure you you'll probably see soon um, our friends at uh, BW1 are doing a review, just a regular review of the just the functionality. We are we are testing uh, basically the uh, the claim that it, it works up to thirty feet. So this is the HD Air packaging, uh, pretty small nifty box. Um, instruction on the back. To do this, we're going to test the HD Air with this um, Samsung TV, and. Um, um, we're going to use my desktop, which is actually upstairs where I live, and um, we're going to use also uh, a G1 uh, using the Gmode app to basically control um, uh, the desktop. So uh, I can just briefly show you how far it is, so you know that this is not you know something that um, will be done um, you know with trickery or anything like that. But anyway, so let's just go ahead uh, do a quick. This is the uh, PC move. rig. That we will be using so as you can see it's upstairs and we are going to hook that up and should work. Now before we continue uh just looking at the contents of the packaging we have the um hdr installation cd as well as the you know get started guide and all that stuff the two components um this is the pc adapter so that's going to go with the pc that you just saw and um this is the unit that will go with the TV. We're going to be connecting with uh, HDMI today. Check that out. And this is the um, the audio display. Um, and then finally, of course, there's an adapter. Okay, so now we're going to do the software installation. Um, I'm not going to suffer you with uh, showing the whole thing. But so now that we have the um, software installed, we're going to connect the uh, USB adapter here to the PC. That's uh, connected. Uh, now I'm just following the uh, quick user guide. I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure you there. slide it out from the jack behind. Pull this, pull the uh, lever top down, and connect it up top. So that should have it connected. And then we do the HDMI connection to the TV. So I just connected the HDMI to the device. Now I just have to uh, go upstairs, uh, do the link software, and we should be good to go. Just before that, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up Gmode so that I have a wireless uh, remote set up for this device. So um, Again, I do apologize for all the movement on this uh, review, but I'm going to set that up, turn this on. I believe G mode is on. Yeah, I'm gonna set it as a touchpad. So that's all set. Slide out the keyboard, turn on the TV. Oh, you probably see me in that reflection. So we need for TV to turn on. So we know that we have all the different things we need. Um, switch to HDMI. Uh, nothing's up yet, but uh, so we're gonna turn that up, up upstairs, and we should be good to go. So the software is up to date, and um, I made all the connections. Um, you can see the USB dongle there. We saw the dongle powered on below, connected to HDMI, um, and the problem arises. It says, you see that um, icon there, the red icon in the corner, which is for the HD Air. Um, when you hover over there with your uh, mouse, sorry, I'm not really left handed. It says, waiting for wireless USB, USB device in range, which means 
<coughs> the um, Altson device uh, cannot find the other USB uh, device downstairs. Um, distance is around 30 feet uh, or 30, 35, probably maybe up to 40. Um, so we know um, the device doesn't work above 30 feet uh, in range, which is fine, which is what's stated on the package. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue review using uh, my laptop. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and do the software installation on the uh, laptop and then see if we can connect to the TV over there. Um, I'm going to do that in a second and we will continue with this review as it chugs along. So um, the device has been connected. Um, Windows did all its updates. Um, and TV, well, now you can see it's extended. Actually, it's uh, duplicated. So we have um, a duplicate screen, uh, two monitors in the same uh, length. Works. So I do have YouTube up, but I'm having some sound issues. You could probably hear the sound cutting in and out um, as, the, as the video plays back. Um, video quality is also a little choppy. I'm not sure if this is a software problem or I just need a software update to fix this, but the sound cuts in and out. As you can hear, it keeps going in and out, so it's, you know, it is annoying if you're trying to watch a video extended. Um, this is pretty much close range. This is about maybe seven feet from uh, the device. Actually, six feet from the device. It's actually right there. The laptop's here. So uh, we shouldn't have too much problems with sound. But software is updated uh, to current software, latest software. I want to see how far this will go before it actually cuts out. So we have the video. We're going to go to the other room. Sorry about that. Video still works. This is probably around 20 feet or so. Um, we still have good video playback. Audio, on the other hand, uh, isn't too uh, too good. It still cuts in and out. So, uh, well, there you have it. So. What we know is that the um, the HD Air extender actually works well, uh, close range, extended video, which is still playing right now on my TV set over there. Um, it works well in short range, long ranges mm, above 30 feet, uh, cannot detect signal, which we saw earlier with the um, with my desktop. Um, audio seems to be a problem. Um, I I presume this is probably a software problem. We can get audio, so but it cuts the HD out. air. Um, as a device, it works perfectly for extending video. Audio seems to be an issue. Um, issue with audio it goes both ways. Even if I use just the HDMI cable or I use <coughs> the line-in plug, I still have the same issue. So I hope that's helpful, um, and um, like I said, it's a very good product in general. I think they need to work on um, the software transition, you know, wirelessly uh, from computer to TV. But um, other than that, um, hopefully <coughs> they can work on that. And um, that has been uh, my in-depth review of the HD Air, uh, trying to cover distance as well as just functionality. I hope you all enjoyed it, and um, thank you for uh, checking out our review at Border Work. And um, hopefully we'll see more of this device at CES. So thank you very much.